The survivors of Edward's terrifying sex attacks have bravely confronted the serial predator in powerful victim impact statements. We can't reveal their names or faces, but we can tell you their final words to the monster who stole their innocence. She endured the horrors of a serial monster and lived to see him finally pay for it. Bravely addressing the rapist who stole her innocence 25 years ago, the woman, now aged in her 40s, looked directly at Bradley Edwards, calling him gutless, inhuman and the definition of a coward. She was just 17 when Edward snatched her from a park after a night out in Claremont, drove her to a graveyard and raped her. The first in a series of sickening crimes that forever changed the upmarket suburb. The teenager was hooded and gagged, her hands tied with a pre-knotted cable, dragged through the dirt, assaulted, then dumped in bushes. By the time I was in his vehicle, I was picturing my own gravesite. Not only have I had to face my own mortality, then I actually had to survive it. I will find joy in knowing you were locked behind bars, suffering for the rest of your life in your own crippled mind. The woman who fought off a bedroom sex attack in 1988, revealing her torment through tears. Bradley Edwards now features as the villain of my nightmares and I can't make it stop. She was just 18 when he snuck into her Huntingdale home wearing women's lingerie and ambushed her in bed. Every night of my life I fall asleep with the fear someone will attack me. I'm not a victim, I am a survivor. Bradley Edwards remained expressionless and refused to look at his victims as they detailed the harrowing toll his crimes have taken on their lives. Jane Rimmer and Kira Glennon never got the chance to see their attacker face justice, but the two women who did are determined not to be defined by his evil crimes. And Louise Rennie, will Bradley Edwards appeal? Well, Michael, that's not yet clear, but we do know his family has approached high-profile lawyers since the verdict was handed down in September. If he does decide to challenge the verdict or sentence, he has 21 days to make that known to the court. But normally, any successful appeal would have to show an error of law by the judge or that his defence team was incompetent. And given just how thorough this trial has been, both of those are looking very unlikely. Michael. Louise Rennie, thank you. The 40-year jail term is the longest minimum sentence handed down in WA history. Renee Henry, this is an exceptional case. Michael Bradley Edwards has been in custody for 1,462 days since his arrest in December 2016. More than half of that was spent at Hakia in the protective custody unit, home to high-profile prisoners, pedophiles and the targets of bikey gangs. He was moved out in February 2019 after a self-inflicted injury discovered bleeding from his right ear in a shower block. The Telstra technician was then transferred to Casuarina, WA's main maximum security jail. After the guilty verdicts came down, he was placed in the special handling unit, a prison within a prison under 24-hour watch. Inmates eat and exercise alone and are shackled whenever they are moved. And that's likely where he'll stay. Michael. Renee Henry, thank you.